What's up, what's up, what's up? This is the, uh, welcome to another episode of the Overtime Sports Show. Uh, this your boy, King Caddy. Uh, hit, you can hit me up on Instagram at, uh, King Caddy. Jamar Warren, Bird, as y'all know me. Facebook, Jamar Warren. Now, of course, you got myself, you can find me at LL Cool Torrance. Make sure you follow and subscribe everywhere, WTMN World. Make sure you visit the site, WTMNWorld.com. Currently, we're trying to figure out a place to host the live section of it. So it may be Facebook and maybe Instagram. Don't know just yet, but make sure you just, uh, you know, keep up, tap into all of us. Make sure you check out everybody's posting um, for those updates because we'll be updating with that uh, real soon. So, guys, uh, what do you want to start out with? You want to start out with the World Series this week? Anybody been watching that? I'm not a... Uh... Avid Some sports fans, show, so. guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't give. I don't, I don't care about the uh, World Series. The Yankees got put out, so fuck it. I was hoping Houston was about to get swept, but they're not. So, so where should we start, guys? Quick NFL update. Would you like to talk about your uh, your Lions? Well, of course, you know. My well, life. actually, we starting with Bird with the 49ers. Oh yeah, why? Why you gonna try to keep <laughs> that in there? There's so many places to start. We're seven and zero, just fifty pointer on the Carolina Panthers. So lead our division, leading the NFC. So we're Hard going to, to the top. Like he on the team. I am. I mean, I'm a part of the team. He does. <laughs> See, that's what a part of the fan. team are you? I speak with John Lynch on the day to day. On the day to day, huh? I orchestrated that. Sanders uh, move, so we need. But didn't receiver. you just say you, you didn't did. want that? Deal? I did that. Exactly. That was not my first. But you option. you you brokered that deal. You didn't want it. Though. I didn't. But we we absolutely you know needed. It. We needed. <laughs> we need. It. So what? So what? They played today, right? You said they what seven and one now? Yes, we fifty one to fourteen, I believe, was the final score. Give us a rundown. And he got a touchdown. Who? Sanders. Oh man, he did. He did. I seen the update. He did. But we're a running team right now. Currently, best running attack in the NFL. Uh, Is that for real? You're saying that's definitely facts. That's factual. Okay. So yes, but we're working on that pass game, and we'll be there. You say so. Would you like to speak on your Lions? Of course, man. My Lions—they got a W. I mean, it's the Giants, but it's a W. A W is a fucking W. I ain't never seen a bad W. (laughs) Exactly. I take it. You know what I mean? Uh, What? What? Stafford had. What do you have? 25 for 32, 342, 342 yards, three touchdowns. He got a pick, though. I mean, he threw a pick, I should say. He definitely blessed me with fantasy stats, but that's what he So does. you don't like him, but you put him on fantasy your fantasy stats, team. Yes, yes. All right. But you said, didn't you say he was underrated? I never said he was underrated. Oh, overrated? Yes. Who? Definitely overrated. He said Stafford. If, if he's rated, if he's rated like that, I don't okay. think he is. I mean, but. We'll, um, that'll be a good topic for another day. Um, yeah. I definitely want to talk about that because um, I feel like any other team, any other circumstance, if Matt Stafford would be looked at different, that's all I'll say. A lot of quarterbacks can't say that they play with one of the best receivers at that moment. He can not say that. So yeah, I don't yeah. know what circumstances you're referring to. So you, I'm just, I'll ask you this so we can opinion. just move right on along. A quarterback and wide receiver is all that's needed to win a championship. This is the NFL. Answer that question because how, you implied that since he had that, he should have did more. I didn't a quarterback that. and a wide receiver is what you need to win a championship. That's in the, or, top, no, that's it, in the top three of, of okay. the team. I didn't, I didn't think so. <laughs> you said that to say what? Um, because how you speak, you, you, you just said that like it was something else to it and it wasn't. You say like he, uh, what circumstances are you referring to? Everything else. The, these niggas is cursed. Something is wrong with his team. Cause <laughs> something is wrong. He never had a run game. He really never really had a good defense. The year he had a good defense, went to the playoffs, and they got, which everybody agreed upon, got fucked up that, that game against Dallas. So the time is, is almost like KG. Now, he's not the same as KG. Because KG, in my opinion, is the greatest power for all time. I'm not saying that. But the year when KG got healthy, he went to the Western Conference Finals. The year he had something, he went to the playoffs and was in position. He put his team in position enough to win. The rest of the shit, whatever the hell else is around the Lions, happened. That's why I say the circumstances. Okay. So that's what. I mean, I'm still looking to see if the 49ers lead the league in rushing because I don't believe 
But <laughs> I don't, and I knew it. I don't even know why I looked. They number two though. I knew it though. It's the Ravens. I knew that shit too. I knew Ravens? it because I knew because of the quarterback problem. That's exactly yeah. why. Yeah. But as I. <laughs> Shaq is the tallest man in the world because he's the tallest. Yeah, because that's what it is. They number one because they ran they ran that motherfucker the most. That's why. Oh, thank you everybody for looking at the or checking out the opening night special. Um, did y'all get any feedback from that? How'd y'all feel about that? Um, people said Bird was on some bull. <laughs> you don't know what he talked about. No, I'm just playing. But no, they was feeding back. They was thinking like a uh, far to see. Them. They was just saying like just the opening night pick. Just the opening night. Oh, the opening night picks. I was wrong. I think I was 0 for 2 because I, I picked the Pelicans and I picked L.A. Yeah. I picked the Pelicans Lakers. like a dummy. I, I should have known better anyway because they're not going to lose. Well, I, I should have thought that they wasn't going to let them lose ring night in in Toronto. But I did say it was going to be close. It was an overtime game. So. Now, well, you will have a lot of this throughout the season of me being correct. I went 2-0. Stop it, though. That would be a lot. That's the facts. Those are facts. That you went 2-0, oh, right? Yes. Okay. And I will be correct. That's not a fact. We shall see. I'm just saying. Since <laughs> you went, that's a fact. And make, sure we, make sure that we know what is not a fact. Also, we we went to the opening night games. Give a recap, Barry. What's your recap of that of the opening night game? Starting with Toronto. You know, they received their rings. You like the ring? I do. I do. I like okay. the ring. It doesn't have like the most carrots or whatever they've ever had given to a They don't, team. but they do. They do. Okay. I mean, I you know, so. that's the. I believe so. I every know. time somebody wins, that's what they do. Okay. They they, they going to get the most carrots <laughs> ever, so you know how that goes. But Toronto, they're entering a new phase of like their young core with uh, Siakam. Siakam and Van Fleet, who I like. I like both of those players. Lowry, he's on his way out the door, but. That's another conversation. <laughs> so, you don't win that championship without without, without him. another. Yeah, he just signed a contract. <laughs> but have you seen the meme where it said, uh, I, "Drake gonna tell his son that he won to that he won a championship ring and he had Fred Van Fleet highlights to prove it." <laughs> <laughs> like, and he looks like yeah, of course he do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. He can get away with it, like, yeah, look at that, Drake Junior. Look at me, I was uh, shooting. <laughs> But uh, and with New Orleans, I I figured they'll struggle. Uh, no Zion, but they look good though. They, they didn't really struggle. They didn't look good. But Josh Holiday, he he's struggling to start off the season. Um, Josh Hart, what? I don't know what's going on with him, but Josh who? Josh Hart. I don't think he's gonna be a major part of the team. Like he already a major part on the team. <laughs> Zion comes back, his minutes are, are cut. He a guard. Or depleted. <laughs> <laughs> he a guard. Watch what I say. It's a team. It don't matter about the position. Okay. <laughs> You'll see. Did again. your sources tell you that too? Hey. It, so what was your takeaway? What was your takeaway from the Raptors Clippers? Opening night takeaway, anything from both teams. I mean, I'm sorry, not Raptors Clippers. Raptors Pelicans. Raptors did what I thought they were going to do. I like them. I like their young core. Uh, same with New Orleans. I like their young core, but they need Zion. I, I just give one takeaway from it. Um, I didn't. I was I was watching the stuff. I didn't. I guess I wasn't paying that close attention. But there was like at one point, Siakam had like thirty four. He had something. He had something like fifteen boards, and they was like, like how the fuck? I've been I've been like looking, but I ain't oh, looking like looking. I was like, wow, yeah. like yeah. He get all his throughout the um, you know throughout the floor of the game, so it don't look like he really trying to get his points. So I feel like if that can keep going, they act, they might actually make a playoff. They ain't gonna win shit, but they might actually be better than what anybody gonna think they are gonna be this year. Yeah, you got any takeaways from that game? Oh, the same thing you said, but uh, I just I can't see them being that top tier. You think they gonna be top? Not yet. Heavens, not yet. But okay. I doubt they have them in the playoffs. playoffs. Yeah, they'll make the playoffs, man. But I mean, they they a decent team, but they ain't gonna do nothing this year, man. Okay. I can't see them doing nothing. So the other opening night game was uh, the Clippers and Lakers. Clippers were the home team. Yeah, battle um, LA. Yeah, bat. <laughs> The first game of this <laughs> shit this year. Um, Big hype. Yeah, so Lakers Clippers, what you got for us? So, hey, it was funny watching this game because 
they had Kawhi come out in the beginning to talk to the crowd because it was a, yeah. technically a Clippers home game. <laughs> they was booing him. You heard it? Uh-uh. They like boo. He like this on the mic. That's, like, hey, hey, hey. That's what he said. <laughs> so I'm like, Man. is that why he said hey? hey. <laughs> oh, because they booed him. <laughs> so it was like it's supposed to be a Clippers game, but it was so many. I guess I, we, I, that's just it's, more motivation. It's, it's just don't no I think we might, I think we both might have said it. Yeah. Even if we didn't, you could just say it with me. I was right. <laughs> I said that it was still a Lakers town. <laughs> exactly. When's the last time it's been a Lakers town? Forever. Said, Even when the Lakers won. The, the Lakers, Lakers can never. The Lakers ain't won since when and they still a Lakers town. The fact that the highest, the high paid free agent, that every, he's getting all the accolades. He's getting regarded as being a free agent. So by, by making the Lakers miss out on all these free agents to swing the tempo in Those favor of the Clippers. And on opening night, he's standing out in front of all these people. He pulls a swing, all this shit. He made history instead of joining history, and he got booed at home. That's why it's the Lakers time. And what's up with that commercial? Y'all seen that commercial? I don't care about that. And them, them shots at Brian, Brian Kawhi better land, all step that. up, Brian. What up? <laughs> and I, I don't I, I Kawhi don't think the, the, the Lakers can step league, up, though. So. Who? Kawhi. Kawhi Leonard is the best player in the league. I mean, it's a debate. What's the debate? Yeah, Just who, some, who, some who, people who, say Greek freak. I'm not going some there. Who would, say hold on, hold on. James hold on. Harden? Is so if Bird, says, if Bird says Kawhi is, Kawhi is the best player in the league, give one challenge. Your challenge, not who they say. Because we'll come back to this. I want somebody who you'll be willing to debate. So will I be... He gonna say Brian. I don't know who he is. No. I don't know why he is. Which is fine. Because I can make, I I can make that Brian. argument. With there's so many you can you can say Brian, you can say there ain't so many now. I mean not so many, but you can say Harden. The best in the league. I wouldn't say so Harden. So who? That's what I said. But who would you say is the best though? Give me one that you would be willing to defend. Don't tell me James Harden. No, I, I would. Well, he, I say I. I'm gonna go with Brian. Okay. All right. More on the game, man. I was disappointed, man. I thought the Lakers could have played. So much better, but to me, it was like they were trying to force feed AD too much instead of playing their game. It's like they kept trying to get him the ball, especially LeBron. I'm like LeBron, play your game. That's that was a mismatch, come. right? It was a mismatch, but you see how how you say, many was times? that the mismatch though? Yeah, yeah, it was. So that's what. But still, you still got to play in the system, not force feed them, man. And it, it was kind of messing up their rhythm. But Danny Green had a good game though. He'll he'll have a good game. Definitely. So, so you think he's going to go down, come up like a roller coaster, or you think he's going to be steady? He's going to have open shots all yeah. year. So. I think they just trying because there's a lot of new faces. they trying to gel or whatever. But I think give them about, give them about a couple more games. Uh, now, this is all without Paul George not playing. In the but play. and this is a, without Kyle Kuzma. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Do yours, too. Kuzma. <laughs> but I've noticed a whole different game. Well, how did they lose to Phoenix? The Clippers. It's going to be nice like that out west. I mean, uh, and the Clippers, mm-hmm. they broke the 12 grand losing mm-hmm. streak to the, the mm-hmm. Sun broke that losing streak to I the Clippers. I just had to throw that in, man. Mm-hmm. Open the night, new season, you know, lots of new faces in new places. We start out with Russ and Houston. Um, they open open the night. They lost. Have they won a game yet? Let's look. They I can look that up. Going um, back to Russ, same old Russ. He's gonna pad that stat line, but in the end, it's not gonna mean anything. Like how did how do y'all feel about that? They end up they end up losing the game when Russ kind of led. Like Russ was the, the leading sh- you know scorer in the fourth quarter. And other stuff, of course, because James Harden wasn't having a good game. But how y'all feel about that? That they lost with Russ having to be the leader. Me, I don't. That's not gonna be a nightly thing, though. But did Russ have to be leader, or did they gonna lose with Russ having to be a leader? No, he's not gonna be like he's not gonna be the leader, like taking out all the shots in the fourth quarter and all that. It just happened to be that game. But I don't think it's gonna be like a nightly basis. But I mean, I think they play good. Like even sometimes Harden go out and pretty much they be like Russ run the show, and then Russ will come out and they be like Harden, and then even when they play together, they play good. But I don't think it's enough to win a championship. Man. They got a lot of names over there. I didn't know that that team was as filled out as it is. I still don't got a winning shit just because of their best players, James Harden, and he's yeah. not a winner. But how do you? I don't trust Houston, man. How, I mean, that's that's a part of it. But how do you feel about that? How do you feel that? Do you do you think that? Do you think that? I 
do you think that Russ will be leading them in the fourth quarter from now? Do you think they're going to have James Harden do it? Will they do like the Brian and Wade try to figure it out? I believe Russ will interrupt Harden a lot this year. Um, Russ likes to get that rebound and go. So he's going to have that rebound. Is he going to be willing to pass that and give it up immediately as opposed to pushing that break, coming down and leading the offense? If the first game is any indication, that. I would say yeah. Because he did that. He did a lot. He grabbed it and you know, pushed the ball up. He got, he got the ball in the hard hands a lot. You just said he led him in the fourth quarter by pushing that. And I see that continuing. So if we just, okay. So you're going to think that he's going to do it most of the game instead of just the fourth quarter? I believe so. Yeah. I think he should. That's hard. I think he should. I mean, I mean that's right. To get, get it and go, but get the ball go. into James Harden's hands. But no, when I he think goes, he should get the ball he, and go. And James Harden just got to run with yeah, it, man. Because James Harden, he okay. likes to bring it up slow. Harden likes to get the ball and go. That's why I said it's going to be a problem. So I think, man, they okay. going to. That's why Harden gonna have this time with Russ off. Then he can do that. But I think if Russ get that ball, you gotta go, man. You can't just that's walk that up like Harden. Okay. Russ and go. That's a detriment. It's been proven. So uh, Kyrie and Brooklyn came out with y'all fifty or fifty one, like something it. like that. Like they it. lost though. With an L, but he made up for his um his missed field goal against. Who was that? No. Who did he miss against? The uh, the opening. Oh, um, the opening they, Timberwolves. Timberwolves. He made up for it with the game winning step back three against the Knicks. So I like Kyrie in Brooklyn. He's a scorer. He can do that in Brooklyn. It won't be a problem until KD arrives next year. So I like I like Kyrie in Brooklyn. Is that a problem that he had to win a game winning shot against the Knicks? It's the, I, I got still him open. It's the open seat. weekend. I it's the open weekend high. of the season. I didn't have him high. I don't take much of what we see seeing now. I'm saying it should have even been that close. That's what I'm saying. Like it's gonna be nice like that. Yeah. We just talked about the son of the Clippers, it's gonna be nice like that. Yeah. But I mean, with the pieces they got over there in Brooklyn, just waiting on K D to get back, they they gonna be all right. They gonna be yeah, good. Definitely, definitely. Um, New Look Dallas. Real quick though. How y'all I like how y'all Dallas. Feel about? I like Dallas. I like those twin or early European cats. I like them. Juka had a triple double. Why you can call him Juka? I don't remember why, but <laughs> I started to call him that, so I gotta call him that forever now. They should be. They should be nice, man. If they can just be consistent on a nightly basis, because you know they gonna take all the shots, man. Him and Porzingis. But um, I mean, if they stay consistent defensively, that's where they're gonna struggle. They might make the AC. They stay consistent. Might. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna just look at this team. <laughs> they got they got JJ Berea, Jalen Brunson, Seth Curry, my nigga Juka, Tim Hardaway Jr., Justin Jackson, Courtney Lee, Boban, whatever, Porzingis, Dwight Powell. They got a nice little team. Yeah, they got, they got a decent they got a decent little team, so yeah. um I don't know. New look Dallas look all right though. New look Lakers though. How what do you how do you feel about the new look Lakers? I'm confident. I'm I'm confident in the new look. How Lakers. confident? I'm talking about like championship confidence. Okay. They got they got the debt. When they start gelling, like a couple games in, like gelling. I tell you what, before I guarantee it, I gotta see KCP knock down one open shot. <laughs> if KCP knock down one open shot, they gonna win it all. I guarantee. <laughs> I guarantee. You can even tell the White Howard trying to he he trying to prove himself. Somewhat. He knows this is his last opportunity. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I think he's trying to prove himself. Cause it's it's like it's it for you, man. If you don't prove Again, yourself. I just up. I don't trust those bigs. They don't. They I don't do, man. put any fear in anybody. You don't think so? No, they don't play with heart. I bet it's different, man. I bet the difference. They just out you there. You excluding AD, right? Yeah. Oh, they, 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 I'm talking about uh, Javale. Do I have a block of shots? How many yeah, one yeah. yeah, one block. Yeah, one block. I saw that. I saw. I saw a real nice block too. Um, I got confidence in them, man. I mean, you know, like we said last time, you don't need them to do a whole lot. Just go in there and do your job, man. And if you can do that on a nightly basis, we good. Yeah, if you playing in teams like Utah and whoever else. Hold on. Utah so, is your number four yeah, team or something like that. Exactly. No, so how you? Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, you saying like 
you do you agree that Utah is going to be a good team this year? I'm not saying championship contender, but I'm like a They'll good make team. The playoffs, yes. But the way you just said it, like, yeah, if they play Utah, if they play Utah all the time, they'll be all right. Like, Maybe I should have said Minnesota. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Because right. if you're saying Utah, that's a de- that's decent competition. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So if you're saying that, but, like, I see if you saying that they playing, but they in the West. So you know they're not going to be playing all them sorry teams. They're going to have to play competition. Yeah. So we're just going to see how that. Their record wins. I got them, what, the number two seed. The Lakers, yeah. We'll see, man. I mean, it's a, it's a long season, man. It's just yeah, starting. It's, we'll see how that yeah, goes. Yeah, that's the, that's the. And it will be a long years. season for Steph Curry. Can we go there? Can we go to Golden State? Um, yeah, they're not looking good. Well, the big deal, little deal, no deal starts with the Clippers. So, we'll start there. <laughs> The Clippers. Well, how how was we intro? What was it? See, that was a perfect segue away from the <laughs> long season. Boom! <laughs> Just go with the boom. Okay, keep going. <laughs> keep going then. Long season for Steph Curry. Um, and the reason why is because I don't want to hear you hate. That's why. I don't. I don't. I don't like y'all. But you just no, you taking you taking opportunities want, to just y'all want me to be wrong. So let me state so I can be wrong later. I don't on, want you to back. be anything but accurate. Okay. Inconsistent, which I'm being nah, with my point. No, nah, you you made it more so about being right and wrong. I was just acting. I'm just standing with my cons- what what I believe is gonna happen. That's okay. what I'm standing. And can we label this an overreaction because it has been two games? They're only on two, right? In the West, I just want to make sure that's it. So whatever, I'm just gonna temper your hate first. They're on two. Go ahead. Out West, you can't get too far behind. I know it's only been two games, but they look horrible in those two games. Horrible. I think both of the games were blowouts. If I'm not mistaken. I know the last one was and yeah. they're going to struggle offensively and defensively. Curry needs help scoring the ball. He doesn't have that. Draymond needs help defensively. He doesn't have that. That's on both ends of the court. So, I mean, I, I agree, man. They, they looking terrible. I ain't going to say terrible, but they looking bad right now, man. They don't have enough scoring. Like you said, they defense, like they can't stop nobody. People are scoring them every score. night. And you can't stop nobody? And what does that equal? Steph, he have off day, it's, it's really going to be a blowout. Because Russell, he can score. But like that, like even that last game, he scored like 10 straight or something like that. And then he kind of like disappeared. I want to ask like, you a question. This is perfect. I'm glad you just said that. What? Brian failed the Lakers down the stretch in that opening night game. But it's an opening night game. That's how I think about it. It's open night. It's 81 more to go. But you didn't mention that. What? But you mentioned, you know, they can't do this. They can't. LeBron showed us what he didn't showed us pretty much his whole career. And he showed up again open night. Well, he failed. He failed. Do you no, not? I he failed him, right? Because Le- he- not consistently. LeBron not consistently. has multiple. Great moments of exactly. showing up you can't under say, pressure. Well, maybe I shouldn't say consistently, but... I'm about to say, though. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't say consistently, but... Was often enough. We've seen it before. And he not has, just once or twice or how many times, right? Has, That's what I mean. So, I made, consistency was wrong. Consistently was wrong. But often enough. Man, he had some bad series, but he had more good series than bad series. So, all of this stuff... All I'm saying is, is... The same way that you would say that about LeBron in one game, I feel like we just need to do that with the like I mean with the clip with the Warriors. I don't know what they're gonna be. I just don't it seemed after two games after two games. They can they can start clicking. We don't So know. after one game, LeBron failed us. So can we not I if I if I was to say that you'll say I was wrong, right? If you say he failed us, yeah. If no, if I was to say that, that me feeling that LeBron is gonna fail the Lakers because he failed us on opening night. Is that is that, a, that you probably wouldn't, you probably would argue? I wouldn't say you, right? I wouldn't argue because that's your opinion. The difference where it's did you tell me you you would you would say that that's not the case, right? Yeah. That's not, I'm not telling you wrong. No, I'm just no, telling yeah, you I about I the. Way. I'm just saying not. it's just too been two games. I don't, they don't look good at all, but I don't think they're gonna look like this forever. That's what I'm saying. What you talk talking about is this. This is just it. Like Steph Curry can't me, get it done. It ain't gonna I, never happen. The difference for me and where I think you coming from is I have confidence <laughs> in the Lakers roster to move forward. Throughout the season, I don't have confidence in the Golden State Warriors roster to move forward this season. That's why I'm drawing that comparison. Okay. Yeah, I just I just don't see where you could get 
more scoring or defense. Right? I got, Warriors got blew out two times. Okay, see, is Chris Paul is Chris Paul doing okay? Well, I'm, I'm just asking because okay. I heard he, 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 he played like he on his way out. He played okay. He played decent. Do you, Not do his you, standards. I haven't watched Not his him. standards. Do you think that he's playing? I, yes. However you look, I don't yes. think. I don't, I don't he, take this. He thing. definitely doesn't want to be there. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully he comes to my heat. Hopefully. If he doesn't go to the heat, where where do you see him going? I can see him. He's a true point. He can fit in anywhere, in my opinion. One spot. Dallas. I would like him in Dallas. I think there's a lot of places. Wherever he go, he's gonna want to go to a contender. I think it's a lot of places. He can, if, if if your Lakers get rid of Rondo, mm-hmm. he could go there. Mm-hmm. But uh, that was Rondo cost Rondo signed a two year nine million dollar deal. Chris Paul costs lots more than that. They can't do that. Oh, you're right. And I'm the league saying, on, I'm no, saying where he, he would fit. They never forget these words because he should have been a Laker before. Basketball reasons. I don't want to be a Laker no more. Mm-hmm. They already stopped that one. Like I said, it's a lot of places he could go. Pick and choose. So do we, do the Clippers look like who we thought they are or were? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we knew what they were gonna be. They look, they look good. Defensive. Even though I hate Patrick Beverly. Oh my God. <laughs> he. Ah uh, man, he like that dude. Like you all be when you go to the court and you be playing, and he just be talking junk. You like, man, would you shut the hell up, man? He like one of those dudes. He he's the guy that you don't want checking you because you feel like you gonna get hurt, <laughs> like bumping his knee or something. Yeah. <laughs> some right. some some gonna happen like that. <laughs> yeah, man. But I mean, a lot of people like that though. So I don't personally, but a lot of people like that. That he be up in people's face. He don't back down. Either. Yeah, no, he don't. Back he don't back down, down for nobody. I heard he that. Um, well, in that, yeah, in that yeah, he ended up he ended up a lot on Brian and on AD. Yeah. So. Maybe that's why it was force feeding the AD. <laughs> yeah, right. You got Mouse in the house. You got Beverly out there. <laughs> so, how do y'all feel about, I know it's the early season, we'll wrap it up with this. How y'all feel about Trey Young leading the league and scoring? Just, you know, how many games? I think they might have only played 2-2. Two, two. But he looking good, though, right? Yeah, he looking good. And he put, when he played the Pistons and put up from the logo and hit it, I'm like, man, this. That's like, I w- I'm not surprised if anybody do that outside of Andre Drum. What? Like if 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 is, if, is if Derrick Rose step up from there, not anybody. But exactly. we, if people, if Brian do it, we don't care. If Kawhi do it, we don't care. If Paul George do it, no. no. But if, if Damian Lillard do it all the time, Damian no. Lillard is a forty three shooter. If Steph now. Curry does it, oh my God, we've never seen this before. <laughs> and I know y'all see it. He was the first one doing it like that though. But now, since then, now, everybody I doing it. I would say, right? I remember Gilbert used to do it, too. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Gilbert did it before <laughs> Curry. Like but that. it wasn't like, like that. that. <laughs> but like that. Yes. He used to you don't remember like that, Gilbert? Yeah. He put 60 on your boy Kobe. So because he scored 60. 60. Because it wasn't I think he 60. sat out the fourth. He huh? did. <laughs> um, that, that's no, why it was a quick he, 60. He didn't set out the fourth. I remember that game. But, um, so, Gilbert Arenas. Scoring sixty. I'm only talking about what he just said. Scoring sixty means he played like Steph Curry. You even just no, said, you we, you I'm brought not, up. I said yeah, like yeah. that. I'm not saying it because y'all, you you can go all the way back I'm to your boy Chris Jackson yeah. or uh, you know his Muslim man. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce it. He but wasn't pulling up like I'm, that. But he was a that. I'm making more sort of comparison that you can mention. That's why y'all can mention um, Gilbert. Gilbert wasn't playing like Steph. No, we never said I he never was playing said like that. Steph. You brought but y'all that disagree. Up. Y'all arguing with me when no, I said y'all. Y'all, y'all both said Gilbert. Right. It's recorded. It's recorded. We're it's recorded. I didn't take like anything. Steph. We said he it's wasn't. Recorded. He, he used to pull up from deep right. like Steph. That's and I said, I said everybody's doing it. And then I said, I said, I said, I said everybody's doing that. But he was the first one doing it like that. Like how he just. No, he said Gilbert. Gilbert was doing it before Steph. Like how Steph is doing. Yes, pulling up. Every yeah, game. Yeah. Like, make it. Like, that's his. Yeah, he used to pull up from deep all the time, dog. One one last thing, man. Free agents. Why are some of these free agents not getting picked up? Particularly Jamar Crawford. Why is he not on the team? I don't understand. You know what? I don't you know what? understand. I think, I think Crawford is waiting. For what? Towards the, like, towards the end of the season. He's he don't want to hoop right now? No, he wants to get on. He wants to win. I'm saying, do you, do you he's think, never had an opportunity you know how to some players, win. You know how some players go will, deep in the so, playoffs. You know how some players will do that so they avoid training camp. And I'm saying, do you think uh, that he's doing that? He just, he don't want to play possibly, right now. Possibly, possibly. Okay. But no, I think no, no. his end goal, he wants to finally win. Did you see the tweet on opening night? I did. 
Oh, on opening night, he tweeted, uh, I think it was the Golden State game. And he was like, uh, looks like, I forgot, I can't, I, some, I can't, I don't know what exactly what he put. But basically he was saying like, I'm I'm out here, like, what y'all waiting for? That's basically what he was saying. I don't see why Lakers won't sign. Me either. That's what, Lakers. They, they waiting on Eagle Dollar, I think. They leaving the open roster spot, so. Yeah, 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 they, they, I think they definitely do. You have to trade for Eagle Dollar, you could just go get Crawford right now. I'm not, I don't understand why he's not on the roster right now. I can't understand that. But I want him to have an opportunity to win. I Me do too. too. So, but they have to so do you think somebody's contender. calling him? He like, I'm going to wait. If it's teams like Atlanta and the Suns and teams like that, probably. He probably he declining did. those options. He did say something about going to state. So <laughs> that, that's a decline. I don't think he want to go there. <laughs> What's going on there? Hey. Now, what other players were you alluding to as far as the free agents? My oh boy, Melo. I think Melo's done, unfortunately. <laughs> and I was never a Melo fan, but the way they doing him, it's just <laughs> wrong. I thought, wrong. Say, uh, I thought you was going to say, I thought you was going to say, J.R. Switch. Oh, uh, yeah, First. him too. <laughs> J.R. Smith. I'd much I'm rather have him it. in the league than fucking Melo. Melo to prove he, he can't play here no more. J.R. Smith, he can still play. You just got to tell him. You just got to make. Can't play. I think he has. In what way? No. OKC and Houston. No, Are you referring to analytics? And that's another How thing. He I look, hate analytics. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, just hey. I'm referring to, because you asked me a question, I'm referring to how he looked there, how the team looked when he played there, and the end result. He looked that bad to you? Yes. If he didn't look that bad to you, I don't ever want to hear you speak what, on your opinion and being solidified because what a nigga's out the fucking league. He looks bad enough to be out the league. No, no I think no. He, he, he obviously won't accept whatever road that people are trying to no, give him. That's why he's not there. It ain't no, 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 no. Yeah, you keep hearing everybody you, say he won't accept the road. players are better than him? How many players in the NBA? I'm not seeing Look that. at this roster. Go to Steph's roster. Think, no, I exactly. Think, he didn't kill <laughs> every, from not Steph, no, them, but like everybody else. Every player except Steph. And what? Have you seen from him that says otherwise? What haven't I seen? Do you see him in you? He didn't look good at Houston. Right? Did, to the I point that they stopped playing. about like 16. They stopped playing on me because Maury, the GM for the Rockets, he goes but off of analytics. What somebody on the computer is looking at these stats and when you're in the game, basing it off of analytics. That's why he got cut. They're, look, they're viewing it from an analytics standpoint. Not a so when, eyeball so when, so when you say okay so so you think because my eyeball test said he looked fucking terrible. In what there. way? Hold on, me. the way he looked when he was there, I mean he didn't play well. He missed a lot of fucking open shots at OKC and in Houston. He didn't hold on because yeah I have he didn't look good. The team did not look good when he was there. Houston wasn't winning early last year, right? Remember that. When when they James Harden was playing, injuries right? right off the rip. Let me tell you why he didn't look. Hold good. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Paul missed a bunch. So of that's games. perfect. Okay. Uh, so so that's a perfect Capella opportunity. So games. that's a perfect opportunity for your man to step in and save him, right? Yes or no? Everybody's hurt is a perfect opportunity for him to so step in and, and play with him. Like that. That's He was getting minutes like that. No, this, because listen. the analytics sat him down. But listen, this is what y'all not I'll give you what you're not even saying. The reason why he may not even work there is because of the fucking coach. I don't think that Tony like him. Let me tell Regardless, you. Regardless, he didn't look work, good man. there. Let me tell you why it didn't work in Houston. First give me of an all, excuse. Give me an excuse. Man, they I'm tried good. to make him a player that he's not. You remember when he first got there, they was like, you get that three, shoot it. Remember they kept telling him that? Like, let, let him play his game. That's, you he, that that, that Houston system it. does not work for him. You uh -huh. system, they like, shoot, shoot. When you get the ball. Right. There was a point where he pumped fake. When the shot and this when did Carmelo ever shoot threes shoot three. in Denver and New York like that? My point is that never. He was so never what a three system, point guy. Obviously, whatever system that does work for Melo or whatever, however they need him to play, he can't do that. You crazy, that, right? You put him on a you put him on that. a New York team or something like that. He gonna get buckets, man. And the and team that, will do what? It don't matter. It you does said, matter. No, because you saying he can't do it. He can't perform. That's the same. You want to say that. I'm That's a, the same with Russ. And the team does what? When he puts up these stats. And the team does what? Exactly. So who you arguing with? Who you You're always with? backing Russ, but you won't back Carmelo. Why? Did you watch the season opener? 
when, he, when I said I've lost all faith in Russell Westbrook. I'm only saying this like this because I didn't put too much faith in the Russ too many years. And I wanted to go into this topic. Do you think the Rockets will make out the first round of the playoffs? I don't. I've lost all faith in Russell Westbrook. I, I've lost opponent. all faith. I've lost complete faith in Russell Westbrook. And I don't think they're making out the first round of the playoffs. How so many stop years talking. to do that? So stop talking. Give Carmelo the back. That's over. I, I, I've been giving Melo the back. I thought he was going to work in OKC, and he didn't. I said he was going to work in Houston, and he didn't. I've been wrong too many times. I'm done. So you, your whole thing is you think he just can't. He just I can't think be. he can't fit in the NBA anymore. Why? Because he doesn't want to. What? So when you he said not he trying to go out there and jack up 20 field goals and 10. When you he said he got, can't fit, do you mean like he can't play anymore? He would have to be a player like almost like Andre Iguodala or like a – a role like that, a, like a, a level of role that way to where you can just accept what comes your way. Melo is too good, and he still feels he's too good to take that role. It's almost like Iverson. When Iverson was here, he wasn't going to come off the fucking bench no. because he felt he shouldn't. I agree with that. But, but the system or whatever probably called for first, him. Though. Did he say that at first? He was like, man... I didn't go. So I didn't. Houston, he don't got it no more. That's I said he so he didn't said. and he didn't work. He said how he didn't work because mm. how he looked when he was there, how the team looked in there, and the end result. Those were what I said, right? Man, I didn't change it. Put some respect on my man. Mel. That's what man, you want me to man. do, and I'm not. That's all. <laughs> don't tell me I'm wrong. Just tell me I'm not putting respect, put respect on him. That's all. You gotta put some respect on no. him. No, fuck Melo. He's done. He's done. Melo's done. Stop. Do something else. Get a podcast. Bring back the old shoes. No, put some new shit on. Can't go out like that. Put out, put out some I, some exclusive Jordan PEs. Like You're right. It hurts. I'm a mellow fan. And but I it's even, over. I ain't even really a mellow no, fan. But I don't want to see him go out like that, dog. Me, I mean either. <laughs> but it's over. It's over with. Man, you still got Vince Carter out there. Vince Carter is playing <laughs> eight minutes a game <laughs> and shoot two times. That's what I'm saying. So Melo could do that. He'd still be there. <laughs> <laughs> right or wrong? <roll. laughs> because why? Because he accepted what they was going to give him. Y'all don't listen. I think that's what it is. Y'all don't never listen to what I actually say. I just want him. I just want them to put him on the, the worst team in the NBA. And just so he can score out. 30 he and the team still win 12 games? He wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> I tell you what. This is another reason why Melo is over with. And we can, I'll let y'all give y'all final thoughts. We saw Melo how many times he looked good in the workouts with a fucking hoodie on. And then when he couldn't wear that fucking hoodie, what did he look like? Or what did he, did he look like he didn't we fit? We can do that, man. We can do that because that's what happened. Because of the system. We keep telling you that. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. So but what system, say, what oh, system he can good work? In that. He's working by what himself, system? But when he got in the league, he can't do nothing. It's because it's obviously like, all that knocking down open shots and dribbling and being the man didn't work. It's not working. He didn't all the all the workouts and step backs and shit didn't work in Houston. He wasn't knocking down the shots the same way. <laughs> For whatever reason. We told you reason. I'm not disagreeing with whatever reason. Any other players? All right. This is my final thoughts. I mean, we are. J.R. Smith need to be there too though. I think he's good enough to play on somebody's team. He pissed enough I people off by not knowing the score that time. <laughs> so <laughs> he ain't coming back. <laughs> I think Brian could get him to LA, but that's that's why he's not there. <laughs> LeBron was like, nigga, uh, uh, hell no. You think he'd get Melo in LA? Yeah, if he wanted to, but he won't. Uh, and I exactly. think that's messed up. I truly it ain't messed up. It's not messed up. Same reason why D Wade ain't there. He won't help. He know no, he won't. D Wade retired. He's talking about. You think if Brian said, "I need you, Flash," no, would you? No, no, D Wade, okay. no. I yeah. think he would. I think he no, would. I or if, if beforehand, yeah, if he, man. I think he would. But that's me. Well, that's been another episode of the Overtime Sports Show. You can follow us at WTMN TV or WTMN World everywhere. Check out the site, WTMNWorld.com. We're going to figure out this live situation, so stay tuned. Smart Warren, Bird, Facebook. Caddy, you can find me at King Caddy on Instagram. KingCaddy.Mellow's number one fan at Instagram. Man, it's chill out. Thank y'all for watching.